Hi, and welcome to, this is episode four. Wow, I kind of lied there, by mistake. Uh, episode one, mission four, E1M4, the Quake playthrough, 25th anniversary. Hopefully I can crush this guy. Nope, missed him. And uh, this is just kind of a retro look back at uh, Quake. <coughs> and uh, kind of, you know, the impact and what it's kind of uh, done for gaming and just not even so much. Just kind of, uh, you know, Playing through and, and reminiscing, you know. And one thing too, I, I want to say about uh, the Quake engine is uh, how far it uh, has come, and 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 all the games it kind of uh, influenced along the way as well. You know, one thing that um, id Software always really did too was. Uh, not only did they create games, but they created the engines that so many other games would be uh, using. So they were so revolutionary. <clears throat> you know, almost every single engine that the guys at id came up with was used for s uh, an entire generation or platform of games at the time, you know? <clears throat> and... Uh, Something I kind of want to do, too, is uh, I believe that this is the level that has the uh, secret entrance to the secret level. So what I want to do is uh, play through this, this level and then do a quick run to the, to the secret level at the end. Just to kind of cover everything that's going on. But uh, if I get back to uh, Quake and the Quake engine, there were a lot of games that, uh, that ended up using it. And then something that happened uh, when they created the, the Quake 2 engine, that was even bigger, because uh, that was used even more. And uh, there were so many titles that ended up using the Quake 2 engine uh, for real. It became uh, a standard for a while, and then modified. Oh yeah, super nail gun. And then modified, so... Uh, other other companies would you know modify the engine to to create for for their games, and I just kind of want to you know make sure I don't skip anything. Yeah, that sound effect sounds a lot like the uh, the pig cop from uh, Duke Nukem. which uh, came out around the same time as two, uh, as this, too. And then there was also the uh, the Jedi Knight games. I don't know if any of you, you people used the, uh, the Jedi Knight engine or played the Jedi Knight games, but those were really great games, too. It's another series I'd like to cover here. There's so much to go over in that one. So, uh, so yeah, like I was saying, the uh, id Software was probably one of the most revolutionary uh, companies in gaming. You know, they really redefined gaming so many times. And I've always been a, a huge fan of, of Romero. I think that's the secret entrance, I mean secret exit. I could be wrong. No, that one's not. Look at those polygons. Polygon projections. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's really, really funny. 
<coughs> I believe it's down there. You go through there. Let's check this out, though. What's over here? Oh, that's where that is. That's right. Let's see. Spawning bad guys. Now, it's interesting in this game, too, because it's kind of hard to tell where they, they draw the line between, you know, the, the, the technology and the old school style of, like, mid, Middle Ages and uh, the Dark Ages. That, as you see, like, it started off um, where it was kind of like, you know, technology and they had the the base it was like a base it was very similar to like the doom doom-esque game you know like an episode one in doom where it's very uh very technology driven uh, th this level is kind of intense Took a lot of shots. Look at that. Oh my god. They're really getting to me. What other weapons do I have? I don't have the... Oh yeah. Let's use some of this back on them. Oh, it's acid. Or, uh... Whatever the heck that is. Not even sure. It's like that's one of the things too about these old school games. It's like you're not sure if if, if the liquid is going to be harmful or not. Even sometimes by looking at it, that, just looks like regular water. I don't know why I'm getting getting uh, injured from that. Just looking for some health. Like the backtrack sometimes. So let's switch weapons in case I get into some uh, scuffles. Now this is the thing. This is where the uh, secret is, I think. Or you can hit him in any in any order, I, I suppose. Hear that? I'm going to need some health. There we go. I heard something back here. Oh, that opened up. Oh, there's some more health. Yeah. Ah, see? Y you hit this. All right. And then where's the other one? How do you get to the other one? You go back up there. This is this is one of the secrets. You go down this side. There you go. And then you jump down the water, I think. And ow. Whoa. And then that's where the, s the secret is. Uh, I'll go back there and and try to get it. Now that I remember exactly how to do it. So I'm going to save right here. Just so it'll be easy. And this is to, to get to the, the regular uh, level. Right? <coughs> so there you go. Beat that one. Now... If we go back to where I just saved, before I, I go in there, I'm going to go try to get that secret level. And then, uh, I think it's all the way back. Let's see. I think it's down here somewhere. There we go. This way. And this is where the secret level is. There we go. See? All right. Now we're going to go right to the secret level because... Uh, We gotta beat that one first. So, here we go.
And haha. -ha. So I'll see you in the next round. And this is going to be the secret one. The low gravity level. There you go. Alright. See you there. Peace.